It's one of the most popular trails in the world. Offers Dyke has stood between Wales and England for centuries, but it's now showing its age. A delicate operation is underway to restore the eroded path between Hay on Wye and Pandy, a section which can only be reached by helicopter. The remote trail is more than 2,000 feet above sea level and two miles from the nearest road. I mean, if you can imagine, we're taking 400 tonnes of stone up onto the hill and um, to take it up on with the tractor and trailer, for example, or any other method, cause a lot of damage to the ground. So we, we plan the process, um, particularly to ensure that we don't cause any further damage to the, to the site of special scientific interest. Over the next few days, workers and volunteers will battle freezing conditions and changeable weather to resurface the path. The work is extremely difficult and it's, it's undertaken in really sort of challenging conditions and environments. And we do rely heavily on volunteers because, um, you know, without them, we just wouldn't get through the volume of work, really. Improvements will be made to more than 3,000 metres of the track using crushed stone. Each bag weighs one tonne and over the next few days, this helicopter will make more than 400 journeys over the top of Hay Bluff to drop the load onto Offer's Dyke. The aggregate has been specially selected for its durability and compatibility with the existing stone on the footpath. The park authority says work like this is important so people can continue to enjoy walking along Offer's Dyke and take in the spectacular views without damaging the surrounding areas.